What's up guys, this is RG, giving you another high definition broadcast. Just wanted to show you guys this amulet of wounding, 4 to 11, insanely good. Wow, this is such a low buyout for this item. Uh, remember that 4 out of 10 I was going for? The bid was at 1,500, another one went to 1,400. So this is a ridiculously low buyout. Um, you guys saw I got to 900 before, um, right now I'm at 472, and I got some uh, bids going. As you can see, I have a bid going here at 355.41. Now, what this video is on is really about um, outbidding your your uh, competitor here um, at something at least uh, 250. I like to go around 350, something like that, just to make my edge even higher. So, the item that you're trying to go for, as you search for it right here. Um, remember the maximum bid is uh, the maximum by, um, beta bucks you can have is 499.99 if you don't use my method with the bids and getting your money back this way. Um, so the trick here is if you have more than 250 um, beta bucks on this already, then someone's gonna have to outbid you on this item. And what is significant about that is that once that 250 goes to you, then you're going to have that 250 in the bank and you can bid over him again with 250 plus whatever you earned from your uh, residual beta bucks that you had. And why I put it at 350 for this one is because right when someone outbids me for 355.41, check out, check it out guys, it's going straight over here. So it's going to be something around 800 and uh, let's say 27.67. Something like that. So, yeah, uh, when I get that much beta bucks, I'll just instantly buy it out. So, what you want to do is at least, at least put it, put it something like 400 around that area, 355, something in that area, so that when someone outbids you, you have a really high amount there. You could even put it up to like 450. I wouldn't put anything higher than 450 because if you put it something higher than 450, then you you risk um, going over the limit, like say if you put it at 470, right? Then someone's gonna put it at 490, uh, the next bid, and then you can't outbid them because you're, you're gonna it's gonna say if you put that much, uh, you might as well buy it out because maybe the buyout is at like 570 and you don't have that much yet. So the the good a good uh, number to put at like bid is 350, like to 450 around that area range because someone's going to outbid you and then you're going to get that money back in here and you're going to be able to buy it out that way. Um, if you want to be risky with it, you can put it up to 450, but I'd say 350 to 400 is a good amount to put in that max bid range. So yeah, that's pretty much the video for now. I'm going to go ahead and update it when I see, you guys can see me buying it out, the Amulet of Wounding. And I'll put these videos up together so that you can see what's up with that. Uh, just addressing some comments I've been getting about a lot of auction house. The reason I'm doing a lot of auction house is because the auction house is like the newest thing that's come out for the beta. Um, the other stuff that's in beta has been there before. And I am going to do a video on fa try to get the fastest kill on the Skeleton King once again. Try to beat my ne last time. Um, trying to get like somewhere around um, point seconds, not one second, but point nine or some, some seconds like that. Um, and I'll check check my DPS on that. Also, I'm going to be using the steady aim uh, plus 10 percent buff this time instead of the hatred. Um, definitely want to do that if you're going for speed. I should have done that in the beginning, but uh, I'm going to just correct myself and do that this time. So yeah, um, next video is going to be on the buyout of this amulet, and the video after that will be on the killing the skeleton king as fast as I possibly can, I'm trying to be um, the top. Uh, you know the quickest time in the world we'll see if I could do that so thank you guys for watching take it easy peace